Hey guys, it's Frame, and today I want to bring you guys a video on a few good hiding spots that I found for Dead Man Mode, as well as places that you could use to go to escape. So, as I'm making this video, my other computer is pretty much uh, fried. I don't know how else to really say it. So, I'm doing this on my old computer, and I am trying to figure out how to fix that computer. So, I can't really be streaming or making that many videos as a result. So, I'm sorry for that in advance. But, the first spot is going to be the crate in um, Camelot so all you have to do is just follow what I do on screen and then just click on that little crate and pretty much that will bring you to a one by one square and after you wait a while this is pretty much for a quest I'm not sure which quest this is going to be for so I'm sure I'm just going to put it on screen because it is kind of hard to uh, do a lot of the crap with this computer but yeah I'm going to put the requirements that you're going to need to get into that box on screen so that's pretty much a great place to go and if you're being chased you can just go and run into that and just hold down select or hold down the space bar and hit one and then you can pretty much just log out or do whatever in this and if you want to get out then you just click on one of the walls and you will actually be back where you started so yeah the second one is going to be the shanty pass in Al Karid. so you're gonna run down talk to shanty hold space bar assuming you're in a rush uh, until the first dialog box box pops up, uh, hit one, hold space bar again, hit one, you'll be put into a jail cell, hold space bar, hit two, hold space bar, hit two. And pretty much what that does, it's going to transport you to Port Serum. So that's pretty much a free teleport, and if you're trying to get away from people, yeah, as long as you do it fast, you'll be able to get away pretty easily. So that will teleport you pretty much halfway across the map within about 15 seconds and then you're going to be able to escape and go wherever you need to go. I don't believe that you actually need any requirements to pick lock the door. I think thieving level helps but I don't think you need any. So the next spot is going to be using the fairy code rings and the quest required is to pretty much just start fairy tale 2 cure of a queen and the fairy code I typed in the runescape chat the wrong thing but it's going to be BKP and all you need to do is if you see any fairy ring anywhere all you have to do is uh, have a draymond staff equipped run to that fairy ring go through the fairy ring and very quickly use the code bkp and you'll be teleported right by castle wars so if you want to go bank or if you want to go do whatever then i'm sure you will be free to do so so the next spot is uh, a, a relatively good one, actually. This is um, pretty much on par with the first spot that I found because I remember this back in the day when people used to EP because I tried to go there once and I heard that you shouldn't be doing it, so I didn't do it. But pretty much you go to uh, the Ardoin boat, uh, or the boat in Ardoin. It's southeast of Ardoin, of East Ardoin, I should say. And you go on to the, uh, you cross the plank to go onto the boat, and then you go down the ladder. And this spot is pretty much a one by one spot, so it is impossible for you to be attacked here. No one can attack you, no matter what. The only downside to this is that if you stay in this spot for more than I don't know how long, I think like, like uh, it says elongated period of time, you will not lose your skull if that's what you're trying to do. It's just a good place to escape. The last spot I'm going to do for this video is going to be Entrana. And to get onto Entrana, as most of you probably know, but if you do not know, you are not allowed to have any items that could be resembled as weapons. So you can't bring any of that onto Tutorial Island. The only thing I think you can bring for spells is pretty much ancient. So people could bring um, like ancient attacks. And you could bring uh, normal spells like fire bolts and everything but you can't use any melee weapons you cannot use any range weapons and this place is relatively safe for the most part i'm sure people are going to be hiding here as well uh but this is pretty much just an option uh if you're passing and you see people are about to attack you you can quickly use the bank deposit box right next to it unless they don't have it in dead man mode and then you can just go right onto the island and pretty much anywhere is safe on this island um, again, for the most part, people can melee kick you, they can mage you, but it's as long as you bring food, you're pretty much going to be fine, uh, unless they have ancients. But for I, I suspect for a long time that people are not going to be able to actually use ancients, so I think you guys should be fine for that. So, um, if you do want to escape off of Ventrana and you know people are camping in the, the, uh, in the spawn for when you get off of Ventrana, 
uh, all you can do is you go over to this spot over here and you're going to climb down the ladder. You're going to scroll through dialogue with this guy and you're just going to select the sec second option. You follow the path all the way back to a magic door and you go through the door and you will appear in 32 wilderness. But again, I don't really know that many people that are going to be waiting there in the wilderness. So you should be fine. And pretty much all you can do at that point is just use a glory or use whatever, go to 20 wilderness or yeah, go to 20 wilderness and then you can just teleport out. That's all for this video, but if you guys want me to give you guys more spots, uh, more escape spots and more, whatever spots that you can go to hide and to do whatever. I'm also going to be making more dead man content as to what build you guys should have, but that's not going to be related to this. Then please give me a like uh, and let me know down below because I want to know if you guys are actually going to use these spots or if these uh, are helpful in any way or they give you any ideas. So please give me a like down below. Let your friends know about this video and do whatever. And I'm sorry again that I couldn't really make this video as high quality as I wanted to, but... I am trying to fix my, you know, supposedly new laptop. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.